This video will show you how to use RealCAD's object snapping. Every entity or object in RealCAD has key geometric points, and we'll be looking at these. They are endpoints, every line, every arc, and every curve has an endpoint, in fact, two endpoints. We're looking at perpendicular. You can draw lines that are perpendicular to other lines. You can look for intersection points, where lines cross over lines, or lines cross over circles, or circles cross over circles, etc. You can look for origin points. Every circle and arc has an origin point, which is the center of the circle or arc. And every line has an origin point, which is halfway along the line. You can also look for tangent points, that is, the very edge of a circle or an arc. We'll look at endpoints first. You can tell you get an endpoint by pointing to the end of an existing entity, such as a line here, and a small square appears on your crosshair. It's essential for accuracy purposes that the square appear. If you click and there is no square appearing, you will not be accurate. If I click now, however, that line is attached precisely to the end of the red line. I come across here, the end of this other red line, another square appears, I click, and I have snapped to the end of that red line. I can come down here to the end of the arc, get the square, click, come across here, get the square and click, come back up here and get the square. Notice the rubber band is not looking very vertical, but I have pointed close enough to the end of the line for the software to see the line. And I click, the line is drawn perfectly. Perpendicular lines can also be drawn. For example, if I start the line here and point to this red line, this time I get a diamond. The diamond means the software has seen the entire entity, the entire line in this case. And it will use that entire line to draw my line. The most obvious thing to do is to draw the shortest possible line to that red line, which is in fact a perpendicular line. And that's what I get. Likewise, to this line here, I can come way up to this end, as long as I get the diamond, click, I get a perpendicular line. And intersections. If I start a line from here, let's say, point to where these two lines intersect, I get a small cross on my cursor, click, and I've snapped directly at that intersection point. Go up here, back down to this intersection point, the small X appears again, I click, and I've snapped that intersection of those two lines. I can also go across to the intersection of a line and a circle, or a circle and a circle, and so on. I click. There are also origin points. For example, if I point to the circle itself, I get a diamond, but if I point to the middle of the circle, I get a small dot. Click on there, I've snapped to the center of that circle. Likewise, I can go to the center of this circle, I can go to the middle of this line. At this point I get the diamond, but as I move along, I get the little dot indicating the origin or middle of the line. Likewise this line here, and this arc here. If I want to, I can close it off with the square, right click to finish. And lastly there is a tangent technique. If I pick this circle, the diamond appears indicating that I will use the entire circle in my drawing. At this point, it's not quite sure where I'm going to be drawing, so it just sort of moves the rubber band with me. If I come across to this circle and get the diamond, the line is drawn, it's tangential to both lines. Likewise, I could come from this part of the circle here, go across to this part here with the diamond each time, the diamond is critical in this case, and there's my tangent or from this one to this one. Or I could come from the end of this line here to a tangent here. I could come from the end of this line here with the end point to the tangent here. I could come from this in intersection here to the end point here to an end point here to an end point here, and so on. I think you get my drift. 
the geometric points, the end point, the perpendicular point, the intersection point, the origin point, and the tangent point are always available when you're drawing or even when you're editing. For example, if you're moving something, you can also use those points as reference. But you'll learn about them more in a later video. And that's the end of this video for now.